It's your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Michelle in here with us this afternoon. And Michelle is the office manager of the podiatrist that we told you about before, Dr. Jay Moran up in Tomball, who we refer all of our feet problems to, bunions and ingrown toes and hammer toes. plantar fasciitis mm -hmm. and hammer toes. What else do y'all do up there? Pretty much everything. Gals, Anything with the feet, right? Diabetic wounds, you name it. There you go. Good. And you're located at 20... Where? 24914, right, Tomball Parkway, right between Boudreaux and North Point Boulevard. So 249 North on the right-hand side, past North Point. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Michelle's in here this afternoon basically on an emergency basis because she tweaked her lower back and has low back, severe low back pain and spasm today. So we are, we've already done her orthopedic neurological evaluation. I know y'all want to see that, but I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> So we're gonna have you flex your head forward and backwards for me. We're just gonna show them how we're gonna fix you, Michelle. Then back to neutral. Okay, so yeah, I can tell she's a side sleeper because her head's turned this way and she's translated to the right. That's why her right hand looks a little longer than her left <laughs> one. Pelvis is elevated on this right side over here. So let's go ahead and lay you back on your tummy here now. Now see, her right leg is three quarters of an inch shorter than her left leg, and I'm not looking at the bottom of her heel, I'm looking right where the sole and the heels meet. And then I bring her legs up, and they actually gets longer on the right. That tightens up in your low back and your thighs, doesn't it, Michelle? Mm -hmm. So see, I know now that she has sacroiliac subluxations right here on the right, and right there on the left, and I bet both those are tender. And there's tender right oh. there too. That's L5. There's L4. These are all tender. She's had muscle spasm all through this area of her spine today. Been pretty unbearable, huh? Very. So we're going to adjust her SI joint first. That's the left and right SI joint. Now the sacrum is a really important bone in the center of the pelvis. That's a middle triangular shaped bone at the base of the spine. And then I'm going to drop straight P to A on L5. There's L4. L3. There's L2. Now we're going to go all the way up into the lower thoracics here. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now you've been needing this for a while, Michelle. So I'm going to put the curve back in her cervical spine now. That's C5-6 right there. Now I'm down on T1-2 right there. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, Michelle. <laughs> now this is the only place in town you can get beat up, feel better, and pay for it. still legal. <laughs> bringing your head up and back beyond your shoulders here now. Good, okay. And we're gonna have you put your arms and hands out to the sides like this, straight out, facing up. Okay, I'm gonna be adjusting your shoulders, your clavicles, and your interior ribs right here. Yeah, these will be a little sore at first. Oh. Yep, there we go. Okay, now just relax. Hands on your tummy. Let me have your leg. There you go. Now you should have felt that in your knee all the way up to your back. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, same thing here. Let this relax for me. There you go. Feel that one all the way up to <laughs> And my ankle that time. Yep, let's right go on your tummy again for me. Okay, and you're probably already going to be more even than you were. That's about a half an inch short now, so. I know that we still got some muscles tweaked right here. Oh. Yeah, keep breathing. That's my elbow. Oh, gosh. Yep, that's your gluteus medius muscles. Keep breathing. I know this is painful right now, but it'll feel better when it quits hurting. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now this is going to be sore too. It's just muscle spasm I'm working on. 
deep tissue myofascial release. These are the pockets here. These are both sore, aren't they? Oh, yes. Does this side feel worse, though? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, keep breathing. There you go. You're doing good. I'm sorry. I know this is painful. It'll feel better when I get done. I bet you that changed your leg length already. <laughs> yep. Now you're only about a quarter of an inch short. And tell me if that felt any easier than the no, previous one. I'm a lot less tired right there. Okay, good. Now let's come over here on this table. <sighs> on the right spot here. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have you lay on your back with your pelvis right here and head up this way, please. Oh, my back. But right there, yep. That a girl. Okay. Now I'm gonna decompress your entire spine with this move. We're going to slide your pelvis down right underneath this pin, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. There you go. Okay. There we go. Good. Stay with me about this. Yeah. <laughs> I call it the ring finger. I get everything in one fell swoop. It's not going to hurt like that. Talking yourself crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just let your head relax. There you go. Now keep your teeth together and just breathe through your nose. Mm hmm. And yes, yeah. Just like oh that. God. Yep. Home run. Keep breathing. Oh. Breathe deep through your nose and out through your mouth. You're still kicking. You're good. <laughs> keep breathing, though. I know that's sore. There you go. Keep breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. There you go. I know that's tender. That'll take that pinching off that nerve, though. Let your head go in my hand here now. There you go. Let me have you. There you go. I still got one here. I want you to tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. That's better. Okay. Yep. That one kind of knocks the ear out of you, huh? Yes. You'll feel a lot better than when I turned that problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me help you up sideways here. Let me bring your legs over. There you go. Okay, now we're going to stand up here in front of the mirror again. Oh. Yep. When you get out of here, you're going to want to put some crushed ice in a freezer baggie directly on the skin over this area. Okay, let's have you close your eyes again, though, and bend your head forward and backwards. I see you got a lot better extension. Back to neutral. Look at your hands now, though. See, it's not as long on the right. right. Pull this up and back. And then see, we want to bring your head back and then left, because yours is right. And then look back at the wall behind you. Okay, you can feel a little tap there. There, now relax. Okay, I'm not done yet. I'm going to stretch this out now. I'm going to bounce some muscle spindles here. It's going to be a little sore at first. Okay. Forward and backwards again, you tell me if this feels any smoother to you than the previous one did. Yes, it's Back a to little neutral. bit tight in there, just a right. little bit. Take a look in the mirror now, though. Look how your shoulders squared off. Oh, wow. You see how you they're more even? It's amazing. This is also better. You're not as high over here. Now, mm -hmm. as soon as you leave here, this is an acute low back pain spasm that you have, so you want to put crushed ice in a freezer baggie directly on the skin over this whole area here, your low back and your pelvis, for 20 minutes. Okay. And you can do that every hour. 20 minutes on, hour off, 20 minutes on, hour off. And you might be that sore up here too, so you might want to do that up there as well. Okay. And, and don't sleep on your stomach. Try not to sleep on your side. If you sleep on your back, with your legs elevated like I had them here. Oh my God, that'd 
if you if you were to go home and lay on the floor and put your feet up on the couch, that's how you should that's sleep right. with your legs up, with your parallel with the floor. Okay. And just continue to ice that all through the next couple of days, through the weekend actually. Okay. And then we'll take another look on Monday. And a warm salt bath with the. No, other day. well, yeah, yeah, but don't do that right after the ice. Do okay. the ice for a few hours okay. first, and then maybe do that right before you go to bed or something. Okay. But uh, you don't want to just mix that ice and heat right together like right. that. Makes sense. All right. So, does it feel any better than when you walked in the door? It's getting there. Okay. Good. It's definitely, it's not as not throbbing and good. I can breathe better. <laughs> Well, it'll get better throughout the day. It's just this first time when you're in acute pain like that, you're going to be sore. And this is your first adjustment in a long time. I mean, you've never had an adjustment like no, this. No, that's definitely true. <laughs> that, wow. So this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. And we send all of our patients that have any kind of podiatric problems with their feet to Dr. J. Moran up in Tomball, Texas. And Michelle is Dr. Moran's office manager, right? I am. What's your phone number? So we can... 281-290-0400. And I should have said earlier, we are right behind Regal Movie Theater, which used to be Santico, so we're very easy to locate. Oh, they changed from Santico? They, did. they did got they? bought out. Oh, really? That must have just happened recently. And we do pediatrics all the way up to our recent 101-year-old patient that had her hammer toes fixed. So oh, wow. All ages. Yeah. And they're great, too. They worked on me, and they did me a lifeline. So that's why I recommend them. I only work with people I know personally. Check out our reviews. They're probably, hopefully, as wonderful as his. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Have a great evening.